show you how to get skins for the cracked version of minecraft okay basically what you want to do is you want to have two apps or two programs installed you want winrar and you want gimp i'll leave us i'll leave a link in the description to them websites and then you can go and download them and then you can carry on so if you haven't got them pause this download and come back to it <coughs> for those of you that have got them Let's get on with this. Basically, first thing you want to do is you want to go to www.minecraftskins.net. No, dot com. My bad. Dot com, not net. Okay. Once you're on here, it will take you to the skin decks. Basically, when you're here, you just want to pick something random. Um, I'm gonna go for this one. Yeah, let's go for it. If you're happy with it, if you look at it, you think, yeah, I'm happy with that, yeah, that's fine, that's fine, all good, perfect. Click on this button here, download to computer. It will come up like this and it will start downloading down there, okay? Now that you've got this, let's work on your thing so you can get it up so it works for 1.8. By the way, this is a 1.8 tutorial. If you want to click it. Okay, that's what it looks like, okay? Now watch, we'll change that, okay? So we do this. You can close it. And now you want to open GIMP. Like I said, and it doesn't want to freaking open. Uh, right, two seconds, let me open up GIMP and I'll get back to you. Right, guys, here we go. So here's GIMP. And basically, you just want to load it up. It'll look like this. It'll load up. Boom. You've got it. Make it full screen, and just bring everything down a bit. Okay, what you want to do is when you come here, I'll also leave a link in the description for what I'm about to show you. You want to open it and you want to open up general template. I'll leave a link in the description for it. Just open that up. Open. And this will come up. Just want to press the plus sign on the um, number pad. Just keep pressing it till it gets to about there. Now what you want to do is you want to click file, open as layer, and find the image you've just done. So the one that I just did was this one. So I'm going to open it, and that's what it looked like. Okay. What you want to do now is when it's like that, get the move tool and drag it up and make sure it's all in line perfectly. Okay, it can't be off in the slightest. So look at that, sorted. Now what you want to do is, you want to click on the rectangle select tool, and you want to take this bottom corner here, just this, okay, take it like that, if you haven't got all the way to the top, just grab it like so, you just want that corner, control C, click over here, control V, right click it, click to new layer. Come back and click on move tool and drag it down to LL, which is left leg. Now you want to go back to the select tool. But now this time you want to click on this middle one, so you're going to cut it out of here. Now you want to get from this corner all the way up, and it has to be perfectly lined with this section right here. Now you want to do the same. Control C, click, Control V. Right click it to new layer, grab the move tool and move it down to LA this time. That's the left arm. And I, I completely messed up, I didn't go all the way up, my bad guys. Let me delete that layer. I thought I'd gone the whole way up. There we go. Control C. Click Control V, right click it to new layer, move it down there. Once you've done that, you get this general template, right click it and delete layer, so you're left with that. Then you want to go to File, Export as, and now put it, find the folder you want to put it in, so I want to put it in here, 
Um, no, I'm going to go back to desktop Minecraft mods extended skins here, and I'm just going to change the name, change it whatever you want, but there has to be Steve in it. So you want to down if you're going to do it, I'm going to do um, bracket dub Steve, all lowercase Steve must be an export and export again and then you'll have that you can close down it'll say save just discard changes okay and close that one off now next thing you want to do is you can close this down if you want next thing you want to do is you want to open up where you have stored your image where you stored your image you want to open up okay and with this one I want to bring it across and across okay now basically we'll create the folder where you'll put your image so you want to go to app data so if you can get your search bar up to app data just type in percent app data uh, yeah, percent and then it will say roaming click it and this will come up but obviously I already have it here so I don't need that but you want to click on dot minecraft which is the top one and it will take you to something that looks like this when you're on this you want to click on versions and the version but I want to do it on 1.8.7 so I'll click it and copy and then paste it okay copy then paste and then just rename it whatever you want so for sake of the video I'll just name it dubstep Okay, boom, there we go, we got it. You're gonna right, double click into it and change both these file names to dubstep. Okay, now click into the notepad one, it's the one that isn't jar, the JSON one. Click it and you have to open it into notepad and it will say ID, the very beginning will say ID 1.8.7. Get rid of the 1.8.7 and put the file name. So what if you called it Samundi Dubstep, and then press the cross and save. Now what you want to do is you want to come over to the jar folder, and here's where you need WinRAR. Open with Win WinRAR, and this meta info file just delete it because that stops you from changing your skins. Just delete it. Okay. Right, once it's been deleted, click on Assets, Minecraft, Textures, Entity, and then here we go. Don't click anything else. Now, go to the page where you had your skin. So mine's here, here, and it was done. Here we go. So what you want to do is you want to rename it now so it just says Steve. Let me quickly rename this one because that one's already something. One point. Now I want to change this one so it says just steve.png, all lowercase. Now what you want to do is you just want to drag it across and let go. This will come up, just don't worry but just click OK. And then as you'll notice now, Steve is the skin you had. Okay, then you want to close it, close it, um, click on one of them and then go back on to and basically you just want to run minecraft now right i'm running my cracked version of minecraft here we go now look you know just make a new name for it so i'll name this one new profile and i'll just name it dubstep and on here versions click it and you just want to go all the way to the top and as you'll see you made that released dubstep if you click it save it now go on to the profiles and click dubstep or whatever you named it and it will say release version release version and just click play once that's all the same okay
Now, in a second, it's going to go like this. Don't worry, I'll change it back. So I'll go like that. And now it's back. Okay. What you want to do here is you just want to go single player. And I don't have any worlds in this, so I'm just going to create a world. Just name it Skins. Okay, and then I'll click on Create World. If you already got a world, just go onto it, it'll be fine. And then, <coughs> once it's finished building and loading through, you'll see my skin. And here we go guys, like I said, I had no worlds on there, you saw me change it, and there we go. Skin has been changed. Like I said, my skin has been changed, and there we go. If you want proof of it actually working, stay, or like stick around for a minute, and then I'll change it to something else. Okay, but if you're going to go, then... Have a lovely day guys, hope I've helped, subscribe, smash the like button if possible, please don't hurt yourself, that's one thing I don't want, don't hurt yourself, but yeah, as well as that guys, have a lovely day, peace, right, now you look, if the people that don't believe me that it works, I will show you right now, okay, so you send, this is my skin, okay, this is my skin, this is what I look like, yeah, at the moment, I will change it, so what I'll do is close it, I'll then go back on to this, versions, dubstep, right click it, no, so click right click, open with WinRAR, go to assets, minecraft, textures, uh, entity, and then here, I'll then move that across the side, oh I already had it there, my bad, I didn't see it there, as you can see it still says dubstep, now watch, I'll come all the way back, I'll then go back again, skins, I'll then go to Ezio. I'll rename you. Okay. And over here, I'll right click and get rid of. Let's see, is there a normal Steve? Drag drop. Okay. Go back, go back. Reload Minecraft. And as you can see, it's still on the dubstep release, so I'm not going to touch any of that and I'm going to play it. Okay, like you saw, I didn't touch anything. You've watched me do everything. And like I said, watch single player skins, it's still there, hasn't been changed, the time is just a minute later. Okay, selected world. And guys, like I said, look, still the exact same world, and now I'm Ezio. Look. There you go guys. Like I said, it works. I'm not messing about with you. I'm not trying to cheat you in any way. Like I said, it works. So guys, please smash that subscribe and like button. Please don't hurt yourself. And I'll be seeing you very soon, guys. Peace.